That's right, Eric. I am a scratch golfer. That's pretty much <laughs> all I can do, for goodness sake. Now I'm back. We've invited some folks all the way from Augusta, Georgia, to make some top items on the menu at Champions Retreat. Now, it's just in time for the holidays. It's Georgia's premier private golf club. We have Doug Seaver, the executive chef of Champions Retreat, and Cameron Weeb, the general manager. Guys, thanks for being here. Thank you. Thank thanks you for making the rounds yeah, all the excited. way from Augusta, Georgia. Yeah. We're very happy and honored to have you here. You're making, I, I love the way to say quail bites with cheer wine glaze yep. and pickled wild Georgia prawns. And you just told me there's really no difference between prawns and shrimp. Not really. Excuse Usually it. prawns are a little bigger, but it's the words kind of used interchangeably. Okay. So, so um, you, right. the floor is well, yours. First, we're going to do the uh, quail bites. So this is a, just going to give you a quick demo on how to roll these. Okay. Um, so quail breast, you know, very small, as you can see. Mm -hmm. uh, the birds are not very big. Um, you can substitute this with uh, duck is a great substitution or chicken, if uh, so be it. Whatever you want to do. Yeah. Whatever you want to do. But quails are you know, very, very delicious. So we got a little cream cheese in here, um, a little uh, red pepper, okay. scallion, okay, we'll and then we got some okay. real thin sliced bacon. We're gonna give that a little roll up like okay. that. And why do you guys use quail? You, you like quail a lot better than some of the others? Uh, it's just a really fun little, uh, real delicate meat. It's very indigenous to Georgia. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that's kind of what we do at the club. We try to use a lot of local ingredients. So this is one that we've just had some real, real fun with. All right. Um, Roll so it right up there. A little there, a little toothpick right in there. Okay. And that's basically ready to go. Um, you can either fry them or you can bake them. They both, you know, comes out good both ways. Bake them a little, not quite so greasy, but. Right. Um, but you don't want to overcook it, correct? No, it's very, yeah, it's very lean meat, and it's okay for it to be a little pink, too. So. All right. Um, so once that's done, uh, we're going to make the sauce. All right. And um, obviously for expedience, I whipped up a little bit ahead. Yeah, and you know, it's a great, just, opportunity, just delicious. great opportunity at the club, too, to come on in. Our newest addition to the club is our party barn. Okay. It's a 200 seated restaurant, banquet center, wow. perfect for weddings and those types of things. So these types of delicacies held by the chef are going to be very popular and high demand. And golf is great, but the food is even better. Yes, right? that's right. right. That's right. Is great. In fact, we have three nine hole courses. Jack Nicholas, Arnold Palmer, and Gary Player designed. Right. And so what's the distance from Charlotte to that area? It's about three, two hours and forty-five minutes. Two, see, and very quite short easy. Drive. Straight down seventy-seven. Very easy to get to us. I'm gonna have to come and see you guys. Well, I hope what you do. In fact, as you can imagine, during tournament week, mm -hmm. that's a busy time for us at the club. Opportunity to stay at the club, both through the cottages right. and neighboring and surrounding neighborhood for us. And you say tournament week, of course, talking about the, the, the masters, masters. Uh, tradition like no other. And right there, now what did you have in the, in the sauce again? Right, so the sauce is uh, cheer wine. Okay. Uh, it's one of my favorite beverages. Mm -hmm. So you uh, added something else I, in yeah. too? Yeah, um, so. It's cheer wine with a little bit of fresh ginger, garlic, um, and then we reduce that down with just a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, and then I finish it with a little butter just wow. to give it a little shine. And then a couple twists of black pepper, right there. That just looks good. Come on in, guys. Eric, Eric's over there moaning over there. We got about oh a minute gosh. left. <laughs> so we're gonna get them oh, just okay. uh, kind of glazed up like that, real yep. quick. Right. I left, I left you a few on the way up, so I'm oh. hopeful that there's more. Come on, right. in, please, please. <laughs> oh. And that's the that, that. And then the other item we have is just again real simple. It's kind of like a play on shrimp cocktail. Mm -hmm. um, so we got some beautiful wild Georgia prawns wow. that we poached. Um, just real quickly, most important thing is don't overcook them. Mm -hmm. um, they, they take about two minutes once they hit the water. Right. Okay. Um, so these have been poached and chilled. And then my little twist on them is um, we call them pickled prawns. So these are some uh, jardiniera vegetables. Oh, nice. Okay. So these are nice little pickled vegetables. Yeah. Uh, you can buy them in the store. Uh, we make them ourselves at the restaurant. Just mix it up. Let's put up the information to learn more about uh, Champions Retreat. Uh, we've added a link you can visit on WBTV.com. Just look in the web extra section. Uh, guys, uh, thank you yeah. for coming by. We really yeah, appreciate thank you. that. Thank you. Yeah. Two hours mm. and two hours, 15 minutes, basically. Let's just let's 245. keep going. 245. Yeah. Yeah. I can make that trip in 215. Yeah. I know you could. Yeah. <laughs> I'm for this food. I hope you would. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, Delano's He's got a leg foot. Yeah. Thank you guys so much yeah, yeah. for yeah. watching. Thank you folks for coming all the way from mm. Georgia. More news at 11 over on WBTV. That's delicious.